Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. I'm just going to see what comes up. What do we have for Capricorn? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid still, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for an overall energy for Capricorn? January 4th through the 10th. One card, please. Ooh, the hangman. So thinking about something. Really, really, really thinking. It's probably a time of solitude. You may be trying to decide what your next step may be. You're struggling. Struggling to let go of something. You're probably learning some sort of lesson right now. A new perspective is needed with the hangman. Okay, you need to look at things differently. Be open to another perspective. There's a stubborn energy about the hangman, right? So there's a need to try to look at things differently. Now that's a card of sacrifice as well. So somebody is hanging on to something that they need to let go of and they're struggling to let go. You need to let go of something. There's something you need to let go of. It could be a mindset. It could be in your mind. You know, you're, you th you're thinking about everything that has happened, right? And hanging on to it when you really need to let it go. You need to let something go. Let go of the stubbornness. Ego could be in the way. Pride. Wanting to prove a point. There's no points that need to be proved. Happiness is more important. archway new opportunities possibilities and paths are opening up temporary problems i feel like you've been dealing with some problems but you've it's you know it may be your own mindset you know you may, your perspective needs to change once your perspective changes the problems go away There's a new opportunity that is about to open up for you. Probably this week. You may have to face a storm. Okay, you may have to face some, some temporary problems or some cloudy weather, you know, to go down this new path. Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is typically good news arriving, an offer or an invite that is very well suited for you. Okay, so that's what that is. This is going in a new direction, a new discovery. Have no fear. I feel like some of you have been distracted. You may have lost sight, you know, of where you were going. You have to take a new approach. It's time to take a new approach. So you're getting a you're getting a new offer or a new invite this week. This is exciting. This could also be a new suitor that bursts into your world. It doesn't have to be a person, it can be a thing. You know, it can be an opportunity that just comes out of nowhere. Whatever this is, it is good news that is arriving, but it will require you to let go of something that you've been hanging on to. So you're going to have to find your courage and your confidence to go in another direction. No fear. Have no fear. Ace of Swords. This is taking that new approach. This is a this is a new idea. Okay, this is that new idea. It's taking it. This is the sword of truth. It's the sword of power. It's the sword of communication, 
awakening. This is a wake up call of some sort. You're going to be getting some information or some news that gives you an opportunity to go down this new path. You're being pointed in that direction. You're being told to go down that new path. Okay? You are. This is this is like the universe it is. It's like this is like a this is like hits you uh, you know, it's like lightning here. Okay? It's like a lightning bolt. You, this whatever opportunity that you're getting this is an, this is a wake up call okay take it ooh in the past in the past there's been some animosity. There's been some animosity. We have somebody here that's been stepping on other people's toes. There's been some conflict. There's been difficulty in communication. You know, there's been arguments. Somebody's been playing mind games. There's been hostilities in the past. But those problems have been, been caused by a mindset, okay? There's been a lot of agitation, right? I feel like you either there, there's been maybe even some mental health issues. There's been somebody has been struggling with their thoughts. This is negative thinking. If you want positive, if you want a positive outcome, you've got to think positive. And this is thoughts. Okay, your thoughts become things. We talk about this a lot. The Ace of Swords is about your thoughts. Somebody is getting a new opportunity this week that can break them free from that old mentality. New perspective. You have you have a choice, okay? You can you can choose to be angry and upset or hostile or revengeful, or you can choose to let go of all that and go down a new path. There is some sort of news arriving this week. It may have something to do with a child. It may not, but we have children here or a child. Now this is conflict. There's been a lot of conflicts. Power and control. Somebody has, has abused their power. Could be a father figure, doesn't have to be, but somebody has abused their power. This person is inexperienced, they've been illogical, they haven't been thinking clearly, and they've been dishonest. So we have some dishonesty here. Somebody hasn't been honest, and maybe not even honest with themselves, okay? So there's been some sort of dishonesty here. Maybe even abuse, Okay, there could be some abuse here. We have or a bully. There could be a bully here. Somebody's been, you know, trying to bully their way in, you know, bully their way or abuse. They've been they've abused their power. Somebody has abused their power in the past and they've probably made a poor decision. We have, a, we have a very cold, hard, uncaring individual who has been selfish. Could be father and child who hasn't, I'm just saying, I'm not sure. It could be mother and child, but it feels like it's father. Uh, it feels like it's a masculine energy. It feels like we have somebody here that hasn't cared about their somebody else's feelings. Where's the feelings here? I don't care about your feelings. It's about being the boss. It's about being in the, in the position of authority. Somebody may have let their authority or their desire to be in that position of authority get in the way of, you know, what somebody else wants. I mean, the King of Swords reversed is somebody that... Um, 
lacks integrity, that is power crazed, that is cold and abusive. That's in the past. You need to leave it in the past. Leave it in the past. Let it go. Even if there was abuse or somebody's made some mistakes or whatever, leave it in the past. The past is past, right? Those were temporary problems. It's time to take a new approach. You have an exciting opportunity right here. Or somebody does. Try to stay focused. Stop thinking about everything that happened in the past. It's time for you to think about the future, okay? Think about, think differently. Change your perspective. Ace of Wands. So you have two aces here. This is a new beginning. You have a new, you have an exciting new beginning. This is climbing the ladder to success. This is, this is coming up with a new idea, taking a new approach and running with it. This is starting with a clean slate. This is a new vision. Somebody has got a new vision or they're getting a new vision. This is creating. This is creating something. Somebody may have manifested something because remember I said your thoughts become things. Taking a new approach. This is growth. So it is a time of growth. It's a time of fertility. That your ability to think positive, because this is think positive, will open up a new opportunity for you. So this is think and this is positive. So somebody's positive thinking is going to open up a new opportunity. This new opportunity is going to come this week. This will lead you down a path. Okay? It's probably not going to be easy though because it looks like it's an uphill battle. You know, you're going to have to, you, you don't want to go downhill. You, you're going to be going uphill. Yeah, you know? Climbing the ladder. King of Pentacles reversed. King of Cups. So this is this is uh, very controlling energy, okay? And this is very loving energy. So there is a, a need to react in a loving manner. It may not be how you usually react, okay? This is this is not practical. This is not stable. This is not secure. We may have somebody here that is more interested, or they have been more interested. And everything but love, okay, because the King of Pentacles in reverse is somebody that is ruthless, okay, does things illegally, you know, wants money, wants stability, wants uh, security more than they want a relationship. Money or, or, what, or stability or how things look, material possessions or whatever, materialism may have been more important. A new pr perspective is needed, and that's wanting to prove a point. That, that hang man is somebody who wants to prove a point. It's not about proving a point anymore. And there's the point. Okay. It's not about proving a point. It's about happiness. Okay. It's about love. It's about emotional fulfillment. You may have to let something go. Okay. With the king of pentacles reversed. You are going to have to let something go with the hangman. So somebody's going to have to let something go and take a new approach. And there's been stubbornness here. Let go. Stubbornness, stubbornness. You've got to let go of the stubbornness. There's an opportunity for a new life here. Your thoughts are a big part of it. You're going to be getting an offer that is going to make you really, really, really happy. Or somebody in your life 
is getting an offer that is going to make them happy. Do not let your thoughts of how it should be get in the way of that happiness. Okay? So cuz these are these are these are negative thoughts over here. You have to change your perspective. What does that person want? What's best for them? Even if, if you don't want to give up the control. Because that is about control. It is. Happiness is what matters. Not control. Not proving a point. This is somebody who is very opinionated. You know, it's my, my opinion is right. That's not the perspective to have. So I feel like this week you are going to be thinking about everything that has happened. You have a new opportunity here that is very exciting. It has just happened. Okay, it's just happened. There's an exciting opportunity that has uh, manifested per se. Okay, it's here. It's right here. It's going to lead somebody down a new pathway. And, and going down this pathway leads to emotional fulfillment. Okay? It does. But it will require you to let go of that old thinking and see things from maybe another person's perspective. Or change your perspective. So this week is going to be a week of analyzing what is happening in this new opportunity that has come to fruition, okay? So, there's a need to be more fluid. There is. There's a need to be more fluid. Don't be so stubborn. Don't be so set in your ways, you know? Two of Pentacles. Now, Two of Pentacles is about change. A need to be flexible. <laughs> two of Pentacles is about being flexible. You're going to need to adapt to a change, and it starts this week. Either you or somebody that you're dealing with that is very close to you is receiving an offer that is going to bring them in a new direction you the offer could be coming to you could be coming from a water sign pisces cancer scorpio could be coming from uh, taurus virgo capricorn or a libra gemini aquarius but either way there is a change that is coming and there's going to be a need to adapt to this change they say aries leo sagittarius that could be this thick be coming from an Aries Leo Sagittarius as well. Whatever is happening, this is an exciting opportunity for growth. Don't fight it. This is a realignment. There is. There is a realignment that is going on. There's there's a there's a need to uh, balance. Take your time. I think that there's a decision that is being made. You're going to have to make a decision this week in regards to, you know, who you were then and who you are now.
It's time to take a new approach. There could be somebody that crosses your path as well. There could be somebody that crosses your path that has something to teach you. Be open. Be open to their perspective. I feel like there is somebody that can teach you something. Either way, Capricorn, you're going to be receiving a very nice offer from somebody that I think you should take. This will require you to accept change and let go of something else in the process because you can't you can't have both. Okay, you can't have both. You've been experiencing some problems because of your own mindset. Let it go. Let it, whatever that you know what it is. You know what it is that you need to let go of. It's something you have been analyzing and analyzing and analyzing. If you have to overanalyze it, you know, constantly and investigate it. If it's a constant investigation, you know, and you're constantly worried and it's caught and there's some sort of abuse there and neglect, let it go. You're going to get an offer or an invite that you're going to love. Take it. Good luck.